Big East Championship game at Allstate Arena, number two DePaul, number one Seton Hall. These two teams met twice during the regular season. The Pirates beat the Blue Demons in both meetings. We go to the highlights. DePaul goes right to Megan Podkoa. She was outstanding today, finished with 19 points, a team high seven of nine from the field, three of four from behind the arc. Next trip down, it's Podkoa again, just like that. DePaul up five nothing, and then here come the Blue Demons on the break. It's Brittany Rinko finding Jessica January for an easy two points. Seven nothing Blue Demons early on in the first half. Centrice McGee caught fire from behind the arc. Here she is nailing a triple from the left side. 15-3 DePaul off to a hot start. Seton Hall forced to call a timeout. McGee and the Blue Demons fired up. McGee finished with 14 points. She was five of seven from the field. Then 12 minutes to go, first half. 18-9 Blue Demons now, Brittany Rinko. The layup in traffic, DePaul up 20 to nine. That is certainly worth another look. Rinko finished with 12. 31-24 Blue Demons. Inside it's Marte Grays with the off balance runner that's up and good, 33 to 24. DePaul really not able to pull away in the first half, leading by just four here, but just before the first half buzzer sounds, it's Brooke Schulte lays it up and in 35-29, that was the halftime score. We take it to the second half. More Podkoa, she was in foul trouble in the first half, but she comes out firing in the second. DePaul up 39-29. They started the second half on a 13-2 run. Look at this hustle play. Off the Podkoa miss, Jessica January tips it right to Centrice McGee. DePaul up by 12. Then here come the Blue Demons on the break again. It's McGee. In the right place at the right time, the Blue Demons extend their lead to 14. Still a 14-point game at this point. Rinko finds Podkoa. Nothing but the bottom of the net, 48-31 DePaul. They led by as many as 18 points in the second half. In fact, it was right after this Shanice Jenkins three from the right side. Jenkins finished with 16 points as well, four of eight from the field, seven of 11 from the charity strike. Seton Hall not going away though, so DePaul goes right back to Podkoa, 63-51. Then Podkoa once again, 65-53 Blue Demons. And then it's Rinko putting the exclamation point on the Big East Championship. Two minutes to go, a great sense of urgency. One to go on the shot clock, the spin move, the left hand, and the finish from Rinko. DePaul up 15 at that point. They begin to sense it on the sideline. And here it is, the moment for the Blue Demons. They win the 2015 Big East Tournament. You know, so difficult to beat a team three times in a season. DePaul came in here with the edge. They started out hot, and they didn't give up. So once again, the Big East Championship belongs to the Paul Blue Demons. All smiles for the Blue Demons on the court. They win their second consecutive Big East Championship and improve to 26-7 overall. They earn the Big East Conference's automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. They'll find out their NCAA fate coming up on Monday. The tournament's most outstanding player was Megan Podkoa. Once again, she finished with 19 points today on seven of nine shooting, three of four from behind the arc. There are the 2015 Big East champions, the DePaul Blue Demons, other stats. Again, Renko finished with 12, Shanice Jenkins with 16, Centrice McGee with 14. DePaul shot 55% from the field, 15 of 28 in the first half, 13 of 23 in the second half. They cut down the nets at Allstate Arena. The DePaul Blue Demons are dancing. They beat Seton Hall. Final score, 78 to 68.